Not chairs. Oh, girl. Oh, my gosh. Look that, how cute. I know. They all turn out really good. So this that one, right? Yeah. We Adorable. kept the same seat. We yeah. didn't change that. And then they just took the finish down. Yeah. It just looks great. Now we're in the Mama Cottage. The sofa is upholstered in a chenille that's made from recycled polyester. We did all of the sofas in polyester so that they would be very resilient, but all eco-friendly because they're all recycled polyesters. The tile in all three cottages is 50% post-consumer waste. We are in Papa now, and uh, every guy I know says, oh, I love the Papa Hemingway cottage. All of the sinks in all three cottages are old farmhouse sinks that have been re-enameled, so another example of reuse. So this is the baby cottage. This was the birdcage that I found at the secret place. And this down here is the repurposed Lazy Susan. And then these chair legs, they came from a chair that I also found at the secret place. And so the legs are here, and then the back of it is in the bathroom. It became a mirror and a towel holder. It's awesome. We're finished, <laughs> which yeah. is kind of shocking. Yeah. It's kind of stunning. Hopefully, people will come away with the sense that this is something I can do. It's not something that's confusing and mysterious. It's just very practical, real-world things. What I hope to see and, and what I expect to see is um, that this is no longer the exception. It's the rule. And that people will no longer ask what is green design. It just will be.